Harry, disappointing afternoon, defeat to Charleston, yeah, three one at the Valley, but uh, from your perspective, managed to get back on the score sheet. Yeah, uh, it's sort of obviously gutting for the team, we've um, had such a great run, I think, what, 28, was it 28 in the end? 28 unbeaten, and um, we've come against a good team today, and they've, um, they've, they've played well, and um, we were sloppy at times, and it was unfortunate that we didn't get a result today, but got to kick on now, there's four massive games to go and we need to um, regroup quickly because we've got Accrington on the weekend and we uh, could do some, some more points to, to keep us pushing towards promotion. Yeah, obviously a very disappointing feeling coming off and unfamiliar feeling but um, I'd imagine that there's some pretty determined reaction. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a feeling we haven't had in, in a long, long time so we, we um, had, a, had a chat after the game and we, we spoke about it and um, it's about being positive now. I mean, we, we've been such a great, on such a great one, run that um, we need to just keep the momentum going and um, move on to Saturday. We showed in that first half some terrific football. It was, uh, it was a real end-to-end -end game, but uh, we could have been more than one away. Yeah, we had, we had a few chances to, to, to go to it, which would have been massive, but at the end of the day, we didn't take them and uh, if, if, ifs and buts. And um, we came out second half and it, it wasn't good enough second half and um, we've been punished. Just from your own personal perspective, obviously you've had a difficult couple of months with injury. Um, I was going to say since the Wolves Hall game, when yeah. you started, it was actually the Barnsley game where you got the injury that came to yeah. that, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, how good was it for you to be back on that team sheet? Yeah, personally it's, it's, a great, it's a great achievement for me because I've been out for so long and it was, it's been hard not being in the team, but when, when you've been winning games and, and uh, it's been... It's been hard to get back into the team, so um, for me personally it was good to get some more minutes under my belt and um, grab the goal, which was massive for me to get my confidence back up to, to kick on towards the end of the season and help the team get, get, get promoted. What a finish. You just uh, yeah. pulled the trigger from the edge of the box, yeah. worked by Pelly and yeah. uh, keep your hand Yeah, we, I think we played well in the first half, had a, had a few chances and um, yeah, I'm glad to get my goal. Um, weeks rest now before Accrington. And a few of the players, James Collins will be back from suspension, mm -hmm. a few players given a chance to get back from injury. Will that rest do us good? Yeah, coming towards the end of the season, everyone's got tired legs and they uh, need to rest up. I mean, it's going to be a massive help, Collo being back. I mean, we, we really missed him today and um, hopefully he can come back in and uh, grab a few more goals because he's been on fire lately. So um, anything that can help us push on towards the, um, towards the end of the season will, will be a help. Sort of in uncharted territory now at the moment because of this massive 28 gun game run as to just sort of how you respond to this. But what's the, what's the feeling of the rest of so far? Um, the feeling is that obviously we're gutted. We've, we haven't picked up any points today, but we, we, I thought we played okay in the first half. And um, we, we can't be disheartened because the run we've been on shows us that we, we are one of the best teams in the league. And uh, we need to just be confident going into the, the next four games and know that we need to pick up points and uh, kick on towards the end of the season. It seemed to hinge on that um, penalty decision. There was a lot of mm. furious reaction from you guys. Um, it seemed a bit soft. And actually, Lee Bowie said in there he thought it was quite soft, and that perhaps the one before Jack Stacey was more of a stone wall. But what do you think about the decision? <laughs> I mean, I was a long way away, so I, I wouldn't have been able to, to comment on whether what, what the decision was right or wrong. But the, the, boy, the boys were um, obviously furious at the decision, and Sonny said that it's not a foul, so. Going to have to take his word for it. It's, it's unfortunate, and it, it really swung the game. Because if we don't concede there, then then we feel like we're confident to keep on keep a clean sheet and uh, win the game. It was a pretty big momentum shift, wasn't it? That, that, that goal. Then it yeah. Two goals in two minutes doesn't help. But that's a loss of possession in your own half is to blame. Them. Uh, that, that's the way we play, though. We try and play out from the back. We try and play good football and. And that's what we tried to do today and it, obviously it's not going to come off every time. Sometimes you're going to give the ball away and everyone makes mistakes. So today we were punished by a good team. I mean, they've got some great players in their team and um, if you give the ball away in them circumstances, you're going, to, you're going to be punished. And today we were, so we can't, we can't change the way we play. We can't become a long ball team. We need to keep playing out from the back, keep trying to penetrate through the thirds, which is what we do so well. Just unfortunate that today it didn't quite come off. They were obviously on their own, really fantastic run, particularly at home as well, so it's probably going to be the toughest of the games you've got in the running, no disrespect to the other teams. But. Oh yeah, they're a good team, they're up there for a reason and um, they've got some good players, so I mean, full credit to them for getting the win today and uh, we need to regroup and go again Saturday against Accrington. Obviously at Accrington has some recent history guys on the pitch, they've actually picked the title last season. Yeah. You guys are still going for the promotion now. Yeah. It's a mouthful of the entire time. It is. Yeah, I mean, they'd love to beat us. They'd love to, to be the ones to stop us going up, but 
we need to keep playing the way we're playing, keep the confidence up, and we know we're a great team, so we need to really push forward towards uh, getting the three points on Saturday, but they're going to want to beat us like any other team. Every other team wants to beat, beat the best team in the league, and that's what we are at the minute, so we need to keep our keep confidence up and go again. We're all trying to do the maths as we go along, really. Yeah, I'm trying not to look at it. I don't, I don't want to look at how, who, like, who other teams have got. I don't want to think about how many points we need. Just every game as it comes. Atkins on Saturday, let's get the three points there. Just to end on a happy note, Harry, that was a very cool finish. Kelly got the ball. I think you mowed them. Mm. Uh, <laughs> nice pass to your feet, but you, you just seemed very cool, didn't you? Yeah. You didn't like that enough to side of you, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good finish at the end of the day. I'm happy to get my goal and um, hopefully I can kick on to score a few more. So when you, what, was it off the side of your foot? Side of the foot, yeah, 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 past it, yeah, it's nice. You know, we high up there. Yeah, oh no, yeah, it was, yeah, side foot was nice. No, it was nice, well done. Thank you very much, cheers.